we are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. The Spirit Realm Messages was the most requested messages from you. For the past five months, the Most High has been revealing to you everything you need to know about the Spirit Realm and spiritual warfare. After five months of learning about the Spirit Realm, the finale to the Spirit Realm and spiritual warfare series have arrived. Although the Spirit Realm series have come to an end, there will be future videos about the Spirit Realm and spiritual warfare. Majority of the series on this channel are continuous. Israelites, there will never be an end to spiritual warfare in the spirit realm. Spiritual warfare is how we respond to every attack that come against us. Israelites, I encourage you to watch all the videos about the spirit realm to increase your knowledge. All the videos in this series is under the spiritual warfare playlist. Other videos I've done about the spirit realm are in the spirit realm playlist on this channel. I encourage all of you to go back to those videos to help with your understanding about the spirit realm and spiritual warfare. Israelites, the time has come for your knowledge to increase in these last days. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Israelites, all of us dream and enter the spirit realm when we sleep. All of us have been or currently under spiritual attacks. There's no escaping spiritual warfare. It's important for you to increase your knowledge about the spirit realm and spiritual warfare. Religion have taught you to respond to spiritual attacks in the flesh. The indigenous black people are faithful to the doctrines taught to them by the heathens. Many indigenous black people follow these doctrines and uphold these doctrines in high regards. Despite living by the principles of these doctrines, the indigenous black people remain bondmen and bondwomen in their own land. Jesus, the idol god of the heathens, help your enemies that have a perpetual hatred for you to rule over you. The same Jesus many of you worship and turn black have failed to help you even after dying to take your sins away. By now you should know nobody took your sins away. You're held accountable for your sins. The purpose of religion was to disable you and disconnect you from the God of your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. When the workers of iniquity cause a separation between you and the Father through the sin of witchcraft and idolatry, a sin the most high hates, your adversaries successfully took your kingdoms from you. They even made you worship them instead of the Father, the God of Israel. Religion's purpose was to still kill and destroy you. For multiple generations, the indigenous black people have been destroyed through the doctrines of devils taught to them in religion. The spirit realm and spiritual warfare is very important in a person's journey who walk with the Most High. The Most High will communicate with you in the spirit realm. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. The fact that religion minimized the impact spiritual warfare and the spirit realm have on your daily lives should prove to every Israelite and indigenous black people that religion is not of the most high. Religion was created to better control you. It's in your best interest to purge all of the doctrines of devils taught to you by the high level workers of iniquity in religion. None of their doctrines are of the most high. If you truly read the scriptures for yourself, you will see that their doctrines do not align with the word. Every Israelite must shake the stronghold religion have over them. Allow the most high to renew your mind. That is the only way you will be transformed. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed 
by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Some people say, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Israelites, I am here to tell you to throw the baby and the water out. How else will the Most High renew your mind if you're hanging on to doctrines of devils coming from the workers of iniquity using seducing spirits that speak lies? A half-truth is still a lie. If your leaders in religion and out of religion truly had your best interests at heart, if your so-called pastors, teachers, and various religious leaders were truly watching over your soul, spiritual warfare in the spirit realm would have been the most preached message in the church as well as in all the assemblies outside of religion. Israelites, that is how important spiritual warfare in the spirit realm is. Instead of teaching you how to understand the images you see in your dreams, as well as how to fight back when a devil attack, Jesus, the heathen idol God, is the most talked about figure in and out of the church. When will the people of the Most High let go of idols? Idolatry have been and will continue to be majority of Israelites downfall. Even in the awakening, some Israelites have taken the heathen idol God Jesus with them into the awakening. Israelites, your idols will destroy you just as they destroy our ancestors. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Throughout the spirit realm and spiritual warfare series, you learn that religion is witchcraft and idolatry. The workers of iniquity in high places convince the indigenous black people that their culture and how they worship their gods is witchcraft. While the workers of iniquity practice witchcraft and idolatry in religion openly, their form of witchcraft is accepted all over the world. Most people view religion as the only way to the most high. The Satans disguise religion as the broad road that leads to life. However, behind the scenes, religion is actually the broad road that leads to destruction, according to the scriptures. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Behind the scenes in religion, the heathens are offering their sacrifices to idols. Every altar that is built to idols are evil altars. The other species of mankind's religious traditions is witchcraft and idolatry. You cannot have idolatry without witchcraft. If you're an idolater, you practice witchcraft. Many Israelites are in denial about their involvement in sorcery. If you have an idol for a god, you practice witchcraft. If you're religious, then you practice witchcraft. The scriptures did say that in the land of their enemies, where they are held captives, the Israelites would serve other gods. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Jesus and many others are the primary God the Israelites have served in the land of their captivity until this day. Most Israelites transform Jesus black and continue to worship the idol. I wonder what God do they believe the scriptures is referring to when they say you would serve gods in the land of your enemies. Not one God, but multiple gods that your ancestors have not known. Jesus is the main God many Israelites and indigenous black people serve in the beast system. Israelites, the time has come for you to stop living in denial. Repent and return to the Father. That is what the awakening is about, returning to the Father. The Israelites throughout their generations struggle with the sin of idolatry. This generation is no different. Most continue to worship idols. The scriptures clearly state that there should be no other gods before the Most High. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Israelites, witchcraft and idolatry control the beast system. That is how the workers of iniquity are giving the dark powers of this world access in the beast culture. You learn in the Spirit Realm series that the heathens have evil altars all over the beast system. Many of these altars are located in the heathens' religious temples as well as the heathens' cities and place of business. Some have their altars in their homes. An altar is a place where humans meet with spirits. On an altar, the heathens sacrifice to their gods. Every altar that is not raised to the Most High is an evil altar. 
The beast religion do not serve the Most High in any of their denominations and various faith. Therefore, every sacrifice that is made on those altars are made to devils. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Since religion is not of the Most High, Every time you and I stood before the altars in the church, we stood before an evil altar. All the sacrifice of prayer we made on those altars were made to the idol gods of the heathens hiding behind the altar. Most of us was led to believe the God behind the altar was the Most High. We have come to find out that the Most High is not the God the beast culture have accepted and worshipped. The beast system have worshipped and accepted the God of this world. Most of you know the God of this world as Satan, Jesus, Baal, and many other various names used to conceal the identity of the God of this world. The scriptures said the world have rejected the Most High. I am not sure why many believe the Most High the Father is being worshipped by the majority in the beast culture. The world have rejected the Father just like they have rejected his people. That is why the scripture said not to love the world or anything in this world. The world hate the father. Israelites, don't become a friend or a supporter of the beast culture. If you choose to align yourself with the principles of this world, you're an enemy to the father. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. The sin of idolatry has been a stumbling block for Israelites in every generation. To those of you the Most High have awakened from your slumber, don't continue to serve idols. Take a stand and stand apart from the rest of the creatures of the Most High who have turned their backs on the Father in rebellion. Israelites, only a few will find the road that leads to life. The population of the remnant is not in the billions. The Most High used eight people to repopulate the earth after the flood. The Most High don't need billions of people to establish his kingdom. For the coming kingdom is made for a few. The scripture said only a few will return to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. The scriptures went on to say, despite the population of the Israelites is as numerous as the sand of the sea, only a few will return to serve the Most High, the Father. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. We all know that sand cannot be counted. Only a few will return. A few is not a billion or millions of people. The remnant include the righteous in the previous generations. When you include the previous generation in the population of the remnant, how many people in this generation is a part of the remnant? The world's current population is 8 billion people. Not even half of the population alive today is a part of the remnant. More than half of the world's population is trapped in religion. A remnant is not in the billions or the millions. If most Israelites serve Muhammad and Jesus, I am pretty sure the popular majority is not a part of the remnant. Israelites, allow the Holy Spirit to reveal the truth of the scriptures to you. Only the Spirit of the Most High know the affairs of the Most High. The workers of iniquity and religion don't know the Most High nor the truth of the scriptures. But God hath revealed them unto us. By his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Israelites, the time has come for you to stop allowing the doctrines from the beast religion, as well as prideful Israelites, destroy you. Only the spirit of the Most High can reveal the truth to you. We started the spirit realm and the spiritual warfare series with the different kinds of spirits. There are disembodied spirits like the children of the fallen angels, and there are spirits that can transform themselves to take on the likeness of a human being. 
the angels have the ability to transform themselves. The scriptures reveal to us that Satan has the ability to transform himself into an angel of light. If you read the book of Adam and Eve, you will see the various ways Satan transformed himself to deceive Adam and Eve after they were kicked out of the garden. Satan will insert himself into animals to carry out his will. None of this should be a surprise to you. The scriptures reveal how a legion of unclean spirits that occupied the men in the tomb asked the Messiah if they can enter the pigs. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people use the carnal mind to try to comprehend what is spiritual. When you try to use human logic to explain the supernatural, you will never understand the Most High's creation. The truth of the Most High's words will never make sense to you, nor will you understand how the Most High operates. The Most High's creation is complex. Israelites, it's important for you to know there's nothing impossible with the Most High. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Israelites, there is nothing that you and I can imagine that is impossible for the Most High. There is nothing too hard for the Father. When you operate in the flesh, which is low vibrational, you can't comprehend the spiritual. You must elevate and operate in the spirit to understand the Most High. The Most High said the hour have come and now is when the true worshipers must worship. The word of the Most High did not say if you want to. The scripture said you must worship the Most High, the Father, in the spirit and in truth. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. A lot of Israelites don't know anything about spirit. They know flesh very well because that's where they have been operating all of their lives. When it comes to walking in the spirit, they cannot understand. Suddenly the truth that is in the scriptures offend them. The scriptures did say the flesh and the spirit are at odds with each other. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. There is a conflict between the flesh and the spirit. That is why every Israelite that operate in the flesh cannot comprehend anything spiritual. That is why they find offense to anything that doesn't match with what they have been brainwashed to accept and believe. Flesh cannot comprehend how the angels who are spirits and supernatural can transform themselves into humans, despite the scriptures revealing this truth to us on multiple occasions. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. How does a person believe the Messiah that came in his own name is the Father in the flesh, and you believe Jesus walk on water, yet when it comes to something that requires the same amount of faith to believe, suddenly it's impossible? The new thing I am noticing in the false awakening, they refer to everything as witchcraft. They are calling a person who stand apart and don't follow the blind a witch or practicing witchcraft. Being called a witch is the new slur or byword in the fake awakening. Father, have mercy on your people, for they don't know what they are saying or talking about. They're like sheep without a shepherd, following workers of iniquity who are pretending to be righteous for the algorithm. Beware of the algorithm pastors and teachers. Israelites, disembodied spirits can enter and dwell in any flesh. This is known as demon possession. You can read throughout the scriptures of unclean spirits possessing people. The angels, the fallen and the holy angels can transform themselves and enter any flesh body. All of this is very possible, Israelites. Remember when Satan entered Judas Iscariot? Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. If you have read the Testaments of the Twelve Patriarchs, you will know that Judah had an angel of might with him. Another account that will confirm the angels transforming themselves and unclean spirits dwelling in a person. Remember the serpent in the garden? The Satan, Gadriel, entered the serpent and used the serpent's body to communicate with Eve to deceive even Adam in the garden. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, 
Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. But after the angels were gone from Adam and Eve, came Satan with shamefacedness and stood at the entrance of the cave in which were Adam and Eve. He then called to Adam and said, O Adam, come, let me speak to thee. Then Adam came out of the cave, thinking he was one of God's angels that was come to give him some good counsel. But when Adam came out and saw his hideous figure, he was afraid of him and said unto him, Who art thou? Then Satan answered and said unto him, It is I who hid myself within the serpent and who talked to Eve and beguiled her until she hearkened to my command. I am he who sent her through the wiles of my speech to deceive thee until thou and she ate of the fruit of the tree and ye came away from under the command of God. We also can't forget about the scripture that warn us to treat strangers kindly because we may entertain angels unawares. Israelites, religion have hidden a lot from you. It's up to you to spend time in the presence of the Father to allow the Most High to reveal the truth to you. Knowing your bloodline and keeping the doctrines of devils taught to you by the workers of iniquity that hate the Most High is not returning to the Father. When a person repent wholeheartedly and allow the Most High to order their steps, they will begin to see everything that was hidden in plain sight. No one who have repented and returned to the Father should be offended to the point of slandering and making up stories about others for their lack of knowledge. The scripture said, all of you who reject truth and knowledge, you are perishing. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The God of this world have blinded the eyes of so many Israelites and indigenous black people that they cannot see that they are fulfilling the scriptures. The workers of iniquity and the Satans that have a stronghold over them make them believe they are in good standing with the Most High. The truth is they are far from the Most High. The scriptures did say in the book of Matthew that in the last days, so many will become offended and betray one another, even hate one another. All of this is happening in the false awakening. Yet the so-called teachers and those who follow the wolves in sheep clothing turn a blind eye. That is because they don't read the scriptures nor understand them. They follow trends and the pastors that do it for the algorithm. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. When our father and mother Adam and Eve sinned, they joined the Satans that dwell on this earth. The scripture said in the book of Revelation that Satan and his angels was cast down to this earth. When Adam and Eve sinned, they too joined the Satans and the rest of the fallen angels here in this earth. The book of Jubilees revealed to us that the Satan, Mastema, asked the Most High to allow some of the spirit of the children of the fallen to remain in order for him to fulfill his duty in judging the children of men for their wickedness. And the chief of the spirits, Mastema, came and said, Lord, Creator, let some of them remain before me and let them hearken to my voice and do all that I shall say unto them. For if some of them are not left to me, I shall not be able to execute the power of my will on the sons of men. For these are for corruption and leading astray before my judgment. For great is the wickedness of the sons of men. And he said, let the tenth part of them remain before him and let nine parts descend into the place of condemnation. The reason King David fought against the seed of the fallen, some were allowed to stay after the flood, as you just heard in the book of Jubilees. This is why the remains of the seed of the fallen is found throughout history. As you can see, Israelites, we are not alone in the physical realm. The fallen angels dwell here. The holy angels are in charge of the Most High's creation. They are descending and ascending upon the earth, just like the Most High revealed to our father Jacob in the spirit realm. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. A lot of you are not familiar with your spirit. Most of you believe your flesh body is the real representation of you. Israelites, your spirit is the real you. The flesh body is a suit that house your spirit. Just like the angels, you operate in two realms, the spirit realm and the physical realm. 
Your spirit body never sleeps, nor does your spirit need rest. Don't confuse your spirit with the flesh. Your flesh body needs sleep and rest to function. When your body is sleeping, your spirit, the real you, enters the spirit realm. In the spirit realm, your spirit interacts with other spirits. The difference between your spirit interacting with the spirits in the spirit realm versus your flesh body interacting with spirits in the physical realm. In the spirit realm, you can see the spirits. In the physical realm, unclean spirits and the angels have to take on the likeness of men for you to see them. The book of Enoch revealed that the fallen angels can take many forms to deceive you in the physical realm. And Uriel said to me, here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women and their spirits, assuming many different forms, are defiling mankind and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand till the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged till they are made an end of. As you heard, the book of Enoch revealed that the spirit of the seed of the fallen are taking many forms to deceive the children of men. These wicked spirits are also causing you to worship demons as gods. Israelites, now do you understand me when I say their God is not our God? Can you understand me when I say to you the God the world have accepted and worship is not the most high, the father? Do you believe the scriptures in the Bible that said the things the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the most high? Can you now discern that the God of the New Testament is not the same God as the Old Testament? Can you comprehend me when I say to you that Jesus is not the most high in the flesh? Jesus is the God of the New Testament. The scriptures clearly say that you're worshiping demons as gods. The way the workers of iniquity and religion interpret the scriptures does not align with the truth of the word of the most high. The book of Enoch went on to say the fallen angels have corrupted the earth through all the abominations they have taught mankind. And on the day of the great judgment, he shall be cast into the fire and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted and proclaim the healing of the earth that they may heal the plague and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. Israelites, you're not alone. You live among wicked spiritual beings that the eyes of the flesh cannot see. However, your spirit can see these wicked spirits in the spirit realm. That is why it's important for you to increase your knowledge about the spirit realm. When you begin to walk in the spirit, you will be able to decipher through all the lies the heathens have taught you in religion. The awakening was not meant for you to continue to uphold the religious doctrines. The awakening is to teach you truth that will cause repentance. The truth of the Most High's words will never support the doctrines of devils from the beast religion. The Israelites who decided to forsake the rehearsed doctrines from generation from generation in religion, they are elevating and allowing the Most High to transform them by renewing their mind. If you're not elevating, you're stagnant. When you grow spiritually, it will bring change. No one who elevates does not change. It seems to me that many Israelites want to keep the same narrative taught to them by their oppressors. They don't want the Father to tell them the truth. The moment the truth is being spoken, many have a problem with the revelation it brings. I refuse to be stagnant like some of you. I will seek the face of the Father to know everything about his creation. I'm not allowing the Satans to order my steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Israelites, the spirit realm, spirits, and everything spiritual is not bound by time. The scriptures reveal that the Most High is not bound by time. One day for the Most High is like a thousand years for us. Everything that will ever happen in the physical realm will take place first in the spirit realm. The physical realm, which is the flesh, is experiencing the manifestation of what have already taken place in the spirit realm. Israelites, that is why it's important to attack demonic oppression or any form of oppression coming your way in the spirit realm. The root cause to your oppression is spiritual. That is why we don't war after the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Israelites, you must attack the root to fully experience true deliverance. When you win in the spirit realm, your victory will manifest in the physical realm. 
For example, let's say the spirit of poverty successfully established a covenant with you in the spirit realm. When you wake up, the spirit of poverty already robbed you and took control over your finances. The spirit of poverty is not going to show up in the physical realm to rob you again. The spirit of poverty will show up in the physical realm to claim what it have stolen from you. You will begin to see your finances oppressed in the physical realm. The workers of iniquity that serve the Satans will come to enforce the terms to the covenant you establish in the spirit realm. The book of Revelation is a very good book that give us examples that can help with your understanding about the manifestation of events that have taken place in the spirit realm. John saw everything that would take place in the end times. Write the things which thou hast seen and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. John lived several generations before our generation. We are waiting for the manifestation of what have already taken place in the spirit realm. All of the signs of the times, the book of Revelation revealed to us, the purpose is to guide us on where we are in the timeline of our redemption that have already happened in the spirit realm. Our people have already been redeemed in the spirit realm. The battle of Armageddon have already happened in the spirit realm. The Most High showed John all of these things to prepare his people for what is to come. That is how some people who was given the gift of prophecy can prophesy. Anyone who is anointed to be a prophet, the Most High show him or her prophecies in the spirit realm. The Most High said, if there's a prophet among you, he will make himself known to him in a vision and speak with him in a dream. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. Israelites, if you pay attention to the spirit realm, you will know exactly what is going on in the physical realm. Nothing would be a surprise to you because the Most High communicate with his people in the spirit realm. The book of Job have confirmed this to be true. End time teachers and preachers use fear mongering to get people to make rash decisions. Israelites, if you have a personal relationship with the father and you spend time in his presence, you will know everything that is going on. The most high will give you instructions on your next step. The most high ordered the steps of our father, Jacob, and many others in the scriptures. Rely on the Most High to help you make major decisions. Don't let the heathens, media, and Israelite teachers scare you into making decisions that is not ordered by the Most High. We all know that the wrath of the Most High will come upon all nations. There is no country safe from the wrath of the Most High. The tragedies and civil unrest that will take place in the times of sorrows will happen all over the world. Listen to the spirit of the Most High that dwell in you to give you sound instructions. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. Israelites, it's important that you don't fight the kingdom of darkness in the flesh. The workers of iniquity and the Satans fight you in the spirit. You must fight back in the spirit. You can fight a worker of iniquity that you believe is attacking you in the flesh. However, in the spirit realm, the worker of iniquity continue to attack you and control you because you did not attack the root. Destroy the devil in the spirit realm and it will manifest in the physical realm. That goes for every attack coming against you, Israelites. Don't waste time and energy in attacking unclean spirits, the workers of iniquity and the Satans in the physical realm. The only way to fight back against witchcraft is spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare will destroy your enemy at the root. Spiritual warfare counter every attack your enemies send your way. Israelites, make sure to break every covenant established in the spirit realm. Some of these covenants require fasting to destroy them. If an unclean spirit don't have a covenant with you, that devil doesn't have access to you. Israelites, covenants are important. Make sure the covenants you're establishing in the spirit realm are with the most high. 
The Most High is a God of covenants. The Most High will honor all covenants. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. Spiritual warfare is how you're supposed to fight back. Don't fight back the way the heathens taught you by protesting and begging for equality. Israelites, I guarantee the moment you start to engage in spiritual warfare, everything will begin to turn around for you because you're finally fighting back the right way. Israelites, unclean spirits and demons are very real. A lot of people are under heavy demonic oppression. There's no amount of prescription pills that can cause a devil to flee. The time has come for you to view this world in the correct perspective. When you diagnose your problems with the word of the Most High, you will find a cure to your problems. The root cause to all illnesses is an unclean spirit, the spirit of infirmity. Don't trust the beast culture's doctors that tell you their overpriced medicines will cure you. Only through spiritual warfare will a devil flee from you. Behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. The problem many Israelites have is that they don't see division, hate, jealousy, setback, rejection, backwardness, poverty, laziness, untimely death as spirits. Everything is a spirit. Israelites, all of your problems are spiritual. When you view the world in the most highest perspective, you will begin to triumph over your enemies. You will experience true deliverance. A good sign that indicate that the Most High has delivered you when the spirit of backwardness repeatedly tried to establish a covenant with you in the spirit realm. Israelites, make sure to break the covenant. All of us have access to the spirit realm. Every time you sleep, you're in the spirit realm. The visions and dreams you have or insight the Most High allow you to see for you to know what is happening to your spirit or the people around you in the spirit realm. Your dreams are not given to you for no reason. Pay attention to your dreams and visions because we are living in a time where prophecy is being fulfilled. I need you as well as the rest of the remnant need all of the sons and daughters of the Most High to listen to the Most High at such a time like this. The Father said he will pour out his spirit on all flesh and his children will prophesy. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. We need to hear those prophecies to help the end time generation. Israelites, beware of the workers of iniquity who use familiar spirits to prophesy. These false prophets will prophesy lies in the name of the Most High. Ask the Most High for a double portion of the spirit of discernment to recognize these workers of iniquity. The spirit realm is a place where your spirit interact with other spirits. The Most High speak with you in the spirit realm. The language of the spirit realm are symbols. You must use the word of the Most High to decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm. Never use the language of this world to decode your dreams. What you see in the spirit realm does not have the same meaning to the same symbol in the physical realm. The workers of iniquity attack you in the spirit realm through witchcraft and sorcery. Idolatry opens the door to witchcraft. If you're an idolater, you practice witchcraft. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people are idolaters. You cannot separate witchcraft and idolatry. They go hand in hand. Israelites, listen to the father in his words when he say, flee from idolatry. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, Flee from idolatry. To the Israelites in the real awakening, the truth of the Most High's words is sanctifying his people. The Israelites in the false awakening are distracted by the affairs of this world. Only the truth shall make you free. I have a large catalog of videos about the spirit realm, spiritual warfare, unclean spirits, and the entire kingdom of darkness. Review the various playlists on this channel to further your understanding about the spirit realm. This series have 21 chapters in the spiritual warfare playlist. Use the knowledge in this series to improve your spiritual journey. 
We can't afford to live in ignorance any longer. The time has come for us to take control over our walk with the Most High. Don't put your spiritual journey in the hands of religion. Religion is witchcraft and idolatry. The Most High is not the creator of religion. Israelites, the Most High is pouring out his spirit on the remnant. I hope all Israelites take heed to the vast amount of wisdom the Most High is making available for his people. Take your walk with the Most High seriously. Let the truth of the Most High's words sanctify you. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Israelites, your dreams and visions unveil much. Don't ignore the insight the Most High is showing you in the spirit realm. Israelites, when you know how the spirit realm works, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. No devil will be able to successfully oppress you without being seen. That is why the scripture said to focus on the unseen. As the time of our redemption draw near, Israelites, do your part and serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. The Most High has given you a lot of resources as well as spiritual insight to know who he is and what he require of his people. Don't allow the kingdom of darkness to influence you to serve demons as gods. The Most High, the Father, is our only God. The time has come for you to return to the Most High so that he could set you free. Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste, and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight, I will rise to give thanks unto thee, because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes.